I found the perfect book for our next art project. It's called Perfect Square. Look at all those beautiful letters. P-E-R-F-E-C-T-S-Q-U-A-R-E. -E. Perfect Square with a big smile on its face. And look at the shape of the book. It's a square by Michael Hall. What is it about? Perfect Square by Michael Hall. It was a perfect square. What color was it? It had four matching corners. One, two, three, four. And it had four equal sides. They were all the same sides. One, two, three, four. And it was perfectly happy. Oh, look at that big smile. Like the upside down rainbow, like the upside down arc. But on Monday, the square was cut into pieces and poked full of holes. It wasn't perfectly square anymore. <gasps> Look at all those pieces of the square. Little ones, bigger, biggest. Whoa, and then all of those holes punched out of them. So it made itself into a fountain that babbled and giggled and clapped. Whoa, look at that. The longest one, then a little bigger, smaller, then a little smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller with lots of dots. On Tuesday, the square was torn into scraps. It was ripped. Now look at all the pieces like a jigsaw puzzle. So it made itself into a garden. Look at the beautiful flowers with stems, long stems that are moving sideways like the wind's blowing them, like diagonally. On Wednesday, the square was shredded in strips. So it made itself into a park. Wow, look at those like beautiful layers of like mountains or grass. There's a kite flying. On Thursday, the square was shattered. It was cut from the middle. So it made itself into a bridge. There's the lights on the bridge. On Friday, the square was snipped into ribbons. Those scissors had zigzags on them. Do you have zigzag scissors? So it made itself into a river. Look, they're overlapping each other. They're on top of each other. On Saturday, the square was crumpled and ripped and wrinkled. So it made itself into a mountain with clouds drawn above it. On Sunday, the square waited to see what was next. It waited and waited. Nothing happened. Its four equal sides were confining. That means it was stuck together. It couldn't get out. Its four matching corners were rigid and cramped. Is he happy or sad? Oh, look. Now the arc makes him look like he's sad. So it made itself into a window. Straight line that's vertical and a straight line that's horizontal. It le looked out on a mountain that gave birth to a river that crossed, that was crossed by a bridge that led to a park that was home to a garden that had at its center a fountain that babbled and giggled and clapped. Hooray!
Look at the people down there. Two lines for the arms, body, and legs. The end. This book was written for Hannah. I hope you liked the book, The Perfect Square.